you know, Pedro, you're kind of always with me in a way. Oh, Look wow. At this bad boy. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. That's a cool. There you I, are. <laughs> I haven't seen, I haven't seen that before. I am Norwegian, so we got to talk about the AHA song take on me because it's in the game, it's in the trailer. Maybe we'll see Ellie play it on the guitar through the series. Who knows? But how do you guys feel about the song and why do you think it's a good match for The Last of Us universe? Love that song. And I love how it's introduced into the trailer. I love it as well, but I loved even more introducing her to the original video that I saw when I was a kid um, on MTV in the US. And I remember... I, I remember like it, it was yesterday seeing that video for the first time. And it was really exciting. It was like, Bella, do you know the video reference of this song? Yeah, and, and, and so it was exciting it, it for was her to see that for the first time. Great. It was yeah, genius. It, it holds up. It really, yeah. <laughs> this almost leads me to the next question. Cause how did you guys work together at the beginning to get the chemistry needed for these roles? They didn't really let us do anything together until we had to work together. Until we were on set. I texted, I, I, I texted Bella and uh, with her mom <laughs> <laughs> at first. And, and then we were just sort of communicating. We met over a zoom uh -huh. um, at a, a, a work seminar mm -hmm. and then um, got to uh, Bella had to come in and get a haircut. Yes. And on you, set while we were shooting. Shooting. And yeah. And then we met just very briefly and like it just the next time I think we met after that was our first day together. Yeah, exactly. So the chemistry, thankfully, just was there. And they were reluctant characters with one another. Yes. We weren't reluctant actors with one another, but I think we were shy sure. and afraid of each other's expectations, maybe, or just wanted to but we discovered pretty quickly that we were we were we were both preoccupied with pleasing one another yeah. as soon as we let was for me as soon as <laughs> i let go of that it like we, exactly we fell in love yeah when we were in that hallway for two days oh yeah and i remember getting <laughs> sad or insecure about something and you instantly and this was maybe our 48th <laughs> hour together and you immediately just comforted me and 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 that was that was basically that was the the green light to just know who you were and to be myself. I remember that. And to wow. burden you for mm -hmm. the rest of uh, the year of shooting with I'd all of my speak. issues. Yeah, and me with all of my. But you, you guys, you also have to talk to me about going up against the clickers and the runners and the stalkers on set. What was it like getting those scenes on tape? Because I, I played Joel and Ellie and it, it scared me. It was scary because they were all they were all real real actors who'd been coached and like how to move like these incredible creatures and with prosthetic masks and they had no idea when as they were doing it what they looked like like really so they would just have a conversation with us between times and just be this terrifying monster yeah um, but it was incredible like they did such a good job of scaring us yeah an incredible stunt team and mm -hmm. and 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 movement yeah. coordinators and prosthetics team and special and visual effects mm -hmm. and to create this like really immersive experience in, in, in the, in the process of shooting. And um, it was, uh, it was very easy to believe all of it as yes. we were doing it. 